All right, so this is going to be a quick example of uh, the new features added to pin calendar. Uh, and as far as being able to now create a to-do calendar, basically you can add to-do items to an event. So we're going to begin by adding a new event. So let's, uh, let's start with adding uh, science, science fair project. All right, so the event's going to start at 12 p.m. on the 31st, on the 30th. And let's maybe add a photo for this event. Uh, we're just going to use uh, a background photo. So what this is going to do is basically it's going to pull a, a, a photo from unsplash.com and it's going to stick it in our back background and the photo is going to rotate. All right, and that's pretty much it for our event. We can maybe add a description. So this is the first science fair fair first science fair and the school's school's history all parents it's welcome okay and here we have our science fair project added to our calendar now um, what you can do as the owner of the calendar what you can do is now you can add to-do items on basically you can keep a to-do list of items you want to add to to this uh, calendar so we just expanded it to a full page notice we'll get a science related image in the back and here we go so we can add new tasks so maybe prepare supplies prepare supplies supplies so we're just adding a, the task here and uh, move chairs out of the gym and maybe set up tables, uh, set up projector, okay, and what else? Uh, make a order 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 prizes prizes and badges and let's say finally uh, set up the stage all right so as you can see, uh, we have a list of uh, tasks we need to accomplish. Now this list is private. This is private to the owner of the calendar. So this doesn't get actually displayed to the public. You can just use it to keep your own private to-do list. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you now is you can sort by uh, basically if you complete a task, let's say these tasks are completed, you can order you can sort the list by when the task was completed. You can sort when the task was added. You can sort by how many stars it has. And you can sort by the category. Now, uh, to demonstrate, this is basically the category field here. This is the general. Everything is added by default into the general category. But let's say we want to add um, a study, research, research, uh, research other fairs. So let's say uh, to add this task, we wanted to choose a different category so we can specify a due date. Let's say by June 5th, you want to finish researching other fairs. And we'll, we'll use uh, the category re research for this task. Okay, so what happens now is we have a new category and it's research other fairs and it's added under the research category okay and we can give it stars so stars you can use maybe you can use it for 
how important the task is or how far along you're in completing the task. So the more stars basically would imply you're further along in being finished with it or it's more important. So as you can see now, if we start by stars, we can bring this up to the top. Okay. And this is it. Basically, this is it. If we want, if we want to come back to the calendar here, just click on the date. And here's our science fair project. When we click on it, we don't see the to-do lists. Only when we click on it, we'll see the to-do list. Also, when you click on it and expand it, we get a nice background, something science, rotating background, science related. All right. So this has been a demonstration of how the new to-do feature works. Now, the one important thing is that this on your published calendar, the to-do list is only shown to you. It's not going to be shown on the public calendar. So this is your private to-do list you can add to an event. All right, thank you for watching.